guys, hey, welcome back to the channel, Stella Conley channel. This came last night and it literally took every bit of strength that I had not to open it. Honestly, you guys, this is, I feel like this is a bag I have been waiting for, for my whole life. Not like my whole life, but I feel like I've been waiting for so, ah, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was on top, for so long for this. Beautiful. Wow. They really make the bows so perfect at Louis Vuitton. Okay. This is from the LV Remix collection and it is a small bag. Oh my gosh. It is so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. She's perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So She's so itty bitty. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, this is the Hills Pochette and it is from the LV Remix collection. I'm just like looking at it. Wow, it is so cute. I have another bag in my collection that this actually reminds me of. The Prada, the Prada reissue bag is what, here's the, the stickers, is what this reminds me of. Okay, made in France. Okay, now this is adjustable. Oh my, I'm so glad I went with this piece. There was so many pieces. There was so many different options to go with. And I was like, I'm not sure which one will be best. The Remix collection just launched on January 1st. It was like 1230 at night on New Year's Eve and I was already in bed. And I was like, I know this Remix collection is going to launch, but I wonder if they're already kind of putting stuff on the website in anticipation for tomorrow. So I went on to Louis Vuitton website and then I knew the name of this bag because I'd already seen some spoilers on Instagram and I was already like, okay, I'm going to type in the name and see if it comes up. Sure enough, I typed in Hills Pochette and it came up and it was like add in cart or place in cart. I was like, yes, yeah. It is one of the like better priced denim pieces, but it was the one that I actually liked the most. It was the one that like I really gravitated towards. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me put some, some stuffing in here. So I kind of want to see what it would look like with like stuff in it. Okay, that looks, that looks a little bit better. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, and pause for a minute. Let me go get my Prada reissue. Okay, wow, actually the Prada reissue is so much bigger. I did not think it would be so much bigger. But this bag, this one, the Hills Pochette, really reminds me of the Prada reissue. And honestly, you guys, I love this bag. This bag is truly an all weather bag. You can take it in the snow, you can take it in the rain. And it doesn't show wear on it. It's so perfect and it's not gonna get ruined. Uh, yeah, but this really does remind me of that bag. So at 12.30 at night, I was downstairs sitting in the dark on New Year's Eve, looking at images of this bag and I'm really glad I went with this. There was the Pleaty bag, no, not the Pleaty. I think it used to be called the Pleaty bag, the Sunset bag that looks like the old Pleaty bag. That one I really kind of wanted as well, but I didn't want to mess, I didn't want to be fussy with that locket part that is in the front of the sunset bag. It is beautiful. I do love that beautiful, rich gold brassy color, but I don't know, I just kind of didn't want to mess with that. I, I really am just a sucker for like a small handbag that can I can wear on like the crook of my arm. This one I, like could go on my shoulder, but I don't, I don't think I would because it'd be like right under my armpit. I don't think I would do that. And actually you can, I guess you can adjust this a little bit if you wanted it to go a little smaller. Oh my God, <laughs> that's even so cute. Oh my gosh, that's even cuter. It makes it look so, so miniature. I think I will wear it on the last one. Also like, the million dollar question here, does a cell phone fit? Okay, I have the iPhone Pro, not the iPhone Pro Max. <gasps> Guys, it literally fits 
perfect in there. Literally. Oh my gosh. Yes. I feel like if you have the Pro Max or if you have even a bigger phone than this, it definitely will, will fit in here. There's plenty of room left, which is perfect because that is one of my rules in 2024. I'm not going to purchase, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest, not to purchase any bags that cannot fit my phone because I'm just, I am, 99% of the time when I'm out and about running errands and just out in the world, I do have my phone in my hand, but I would like the option, the option to be able to put it into my handbag. So I say I've literally waited forever for this bag because this bag originally, well not this one, but this style, this denim monogram style originally came out in the early 2000s and I believe it was 2005 that Marc Jacobs, who was then the creative director of Louis Vuitton at the time, came out with this denim monogram print. And there was several bags that were so adorable. There's still a bunch of those bags out there on the pre-love market, though as soon as this was announced, the prices of those went way up. They were, they were pretty good. They were somewhat reasonable, not that reasonable because those are so hard to find and in good condition that the prices are just high. But as soon as this collection was announced, the prices went way, way up. And there was a bag on from that collection that I did want. It was the, it was called the Pleaty, but there was two bags that were that were literally called the Pleaty. The, the one, the Sunset Now, I think it used to be called the Pleaty, and then also this other one was called the Pleaty Denim Bag. It was more like a scrunchie at the top bag, and it had, it had the beautiful, like, buckle that went over, and it was so beautiful, and I really loved that bag. That bag stayed in the back of my mind. I was like, okay, eventually I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, but I just don't know when. So when I heard that they were going to come out with this new denim, I was like, yes, yes. Okay, so right now, uh, this is the bag that I'm currently using. This is the Alma, the Alma bag. I think this is the Alma BB. And this is um, in that black epi leather. And it's been snowing in Virginia the last few days, or it snowed, and then it's been so cold here that it is not melted. And this is also another one of my favorite bags to use in all weather situations because this bag, can be in the rain, can be in the snow, and it's not gonna get water spots or ruin or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna see what from this bag fits into this bag. One, I'm just gonna start with my phone because that's something I really want to have. I've got my Gucci wallet here, which, guys, I get so many compliments on this Gucci wallet. Everybody, when I pull it out, they see this little chain and they just love it. And I will tell you, this is one of my favorite wallets. It is so cute. Fits right in there. Okay, not so much room left. I'll take my keys, go in the corner over there. Uh, I cannot go anywhere without lip products. So here's three, I probably don't need all three of these, but you know what, all three of those actually fit. Next I have, oh, AirPods. Literally won't go anywhere without AirPods. I listen to so many books on audio now. Okay, that, let me see. That is pretty packed. That's pretty good. And honestly, I could still fit a little bit more. I think, I think this is probably enough. I probably wouldn't take anything else. And honestly, I probably wouldn't take all of these lip products. Uh, but if I did want to, I could add a mirror, a little pocket mirror in there. I've been traveling or going out with dental floss because every time I go out to eat or anytime I eat anything, I feel like I always get food stuck in one of, in between two of my teeth on this side over here on the top. I think my Invisalign didn't quite, didn't quite close the gaps on my teeth. Okay, and then I do have a coin purse here that I put my change. And I probably, yeah, that's that's pretty packed. I probably wouldn't wouldn't take this. Maybe wouldn't take my mirror. Love it. And probably would more likely hold my phone in my hands. So this would be this would be how it would look. And this is so cute. I love the way this is laying. It's so adorable. 
I am so glad I went with this. This was the right decision for me. I do have one denim bag, uh, the Chanel denim bag that I have. Okay, pause, let me go get that so I can show you because I did get a stain on it literally the first week I had my bag. The first week I had it, my husband and I went, we were like moving or something and I, he was sitting, we had gotten Taco Bell, okay? This was several years ago, don't judge me. I had Taco Bell and he had opened one of the Taco Bell sauce packets and it went, he was in the driver's seat and I was in the passenger seat and my bag was down by my feet. And once he opened it, it just exploded and some of it went onto my bag. I really can't find it right now. It might have just, oh, found it. Here it is. Let me show you guys. Right there. I probably could clean it, but... I just haven't like look you guys this bag is several years old it looks pretty good I will show you where is it right here do you see that there's some stains right there on the bag also but if you weren't looking could you even really see that it's like Who's, who's going to see that? You, you really, <laughs> I almost want to say this isn't the Taco Bell stain. I want to say I remember I took this bag out also when I got dumplings with uh, soup dumplings with one of my friends and I took a bite into a soup dumpling and it's, it squirted out. I just, you know, I live with my bags and when I get stains or little things on them, it kind of, it's kind of funny because I remember my husband was like, oh, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's fine. Taco Bell sauce on the brand new Chanel limited edition dark gray denim bag that I had to source that they didn't weren't even selling these in America. I literally had to source it from another country. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Not a big deal. I don't, I've never actually tried to clean this denim, but I feel like if something spilled on this denim, it looks like it might be a little bit more noticeable. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna use it if I spill Taco Bell sauce on it or dumpling, soup dumpling juice. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, life will go on and I will do my best to figure out how to clean it if I need to. I always like to look at a bag when I first get it and I like to kind of see like what are some potential cons that could be with this bag. And already number one like potential con that I see could be happen with this bag if you are thinking about it and you're like, wait, I don't know, like what good and bad is with this bag, is that this is a whole machete strap here. And I don't know about you guys, but when I am out and about and I'm holding my bag, sometimes my hands get like, uh, not greasy, but sweaty. Sometimes they get sweaty or I touch things or I touch my makeup. And this is just a full leather Vachetta strap. It doesn't look like it's pre-treated. It looks like it is pretty raw, but it is a little like slippery. So maybe it is treated a little bit. And this is just kind of flat. It's not like these handles, the Alma BB handles are so comfortable because they're like rounded. This part right here, on the actual strap, like, well, it's rounded right here, but it's also rounded on the actual strap and it's really comfortable to hold. This is more like you're holding uh, like, a, like a, a belt or like a, 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 yeah, like a belt. Like you're actually just holding a belt. So it's not as comfortable in your hand, but you know, for me, I'm like, totally look past it. It's the design of the bag. It's adorable. It does actually kind of look like it's a little belt strap that goes across. Second thing that I see here is it's not detachable. It's not, it cannot come off the bag. It can open and you can adjust. There's one, two, three holes right here. So you can adjust it, but it's not like you can't interchange, uh, the straps. There's no interchangeable straps. Number three thing that I see here, like, look, now I'm like on a roll. I'm like, okay, guys, watch this. Uh, there's no D-rings 
over here so it's not like you could attach your own strap or a different strap like this is the strap that came with it it was made for it and you will live with it and you will love it or you won't have it also just the denim denim is this is like this I could spill water snow taco bell sauce dumpling juice noodles like I could spill whatever I wanted on this and I could literally just take a cloth and wipe it right off and it will look brand new like I've literally had this bag I, I want to say since 2019 or maybe even yeah 2019 I got this in 2019 when my husband was in Abu Dhabi and I was flying through London Heathrow we got that little baby with the bat tacks off the top I've had this for like four almost five years now and I mean I'm telling you guys this bag literally looks brand new and I, and I use that bag like a ton <laughs> This one on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know because of the material, because of what the bag is made out of. I don't know if it's gonna look like that in four or five years, but I mean, the Chanel one does. What other con I could have with this? I guess just potentially it, it like kind of dipping in and maybe you don't like that. Also, it probably will be a little hard to open and get in and out of because you've got this belt strap here and then you know you've got to kind of like open it you've got to use two hands it's not a bag where you're just gonna use one hand to kind of get in and out of what do you guys think about this little cutie are you guys getting any of the denim pieces are you thinking about going back and maybe finding a vintage piece I feel like right now the vintage pieces until this dies down maybe in the summer or maybe with the next launch of the next newest and greatest thing out there I think the denim bags on the pre-love market are going to be very expensive. And actually I've seen hardly any out there on the pre-love market right now because everyone's probably hanging on to them because it's like, well, why sell it? Why give it away? It's, it's back in style now. Like, no, it's gonna stay with me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, your month, your year, your life, just enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video.